process been to get back to where you want to be and how long has this journey been taking you? Oh, it's been good. It's been a minute. It's still, I'm still getting back, uh, you know, trying to get back right. Uh, my technique, my feet work. I'm learning, the, I'm getting it. The, the plays, the coverages, I'm, I know all that, the scheme. So it's just getting my uh, feet worked down and faster, and you know, I'm good. Are you doing like more and more every day? Yeah, more and more every day, progressing me up. I'm almost 100% back with the team, everything. Are you going to be ready September 1st to start? Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Just, you know, you've been here a year now, Jamari. Just talk about the adaptation coming from Kentucky to, to Purdue and what that's been like. You ended up playing a big role last year, obviously. Yeah, coming from Kentucky to Purdue, uh, it, was, it was all happening fast. I had Coach E call me like in last year around March, and I got here in May, and after that, it was on and popping after workouts, and I was just ready for anybody that, you know, that injuries, just, you know, be a team player, step up, and do what my coach asked me. That's all. Reese Taylor, um, mm -hmm. talk about Reese. Type yeah. of impact you think he's going to have? Yeah, he good. He, he's a great player. He, he here to help me, like, you know, the DB room. Especially last year, we had a lot of, you know, it was only like two corners. We was short with depth, and it, it kind of, you know, wore some of us out and down the line. So, Coach had to get some depth. He gonna help us because he's a good player. He understand the game. He got great technique. And he could, you know, he could cover. So he gonna help us. It's been frustrating dealing with the long recovery. Yeah, for sure. Cause I never had an injury like that last over three weeks. I always had little knickknacks, ankle, uh, hamstring where you come back in like three, two weeks. But I never had an injury where you sit out for six or months or five months like surgery. So that was tough. It was a learning experience. So this woke me up to take care of my body and always, uh, at, you know, year throughly. 24 7 so that just woke me up though. You know, how'd, you, how'd you deal with it mentally oh it was hard i can't even lie to you i'd be lying I'm, I'd, I'd be lying to you if i told you it was good it was hard you know every day getting up doing treatment like, i'm used to running and covering people that's what i do so it was hard to do that every day yeah. when you guys are healthy what kind of group can you have on the corners oh we're gonna be scared for sure this year 100 percent healthy like and all of us we're gonna be we're gonna be it legit like I'm, it's gonna be scary like forever like we could i could run i know me i could run all day so i'm ready for whatever so. i think coach Brom said you lost weight too yeah yeah i did i dropped some weight just to get quicker last year i just judged myself a couple people told me just just evaluate yourself i just one day i just watched film on myself all day couple game and just look like i lacked a little twitch so i wanted to get my twitch back uh, so I dropped a couple. I dropped some weight down uh, just to get my twitch, my twitching is back. How much? My speed. I lost like 10 to 13 pounds. Wow. Yeah, I lost. I'm at 195 right now. I was around 208, 207 last year. I didn't really like it, so I'm back to 195. Just maintaining. All yeah. right, you yeah. played one year in the Big Ten, one year in the SEC. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Who has the edge? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> Big Ten. You better come there when it's time. They, and they say bring your big boy pads. You better bring them because they gonna run that ball. But the SEC, I just think it's a more balanced pass and run. But as far as run game, Big Ten all day. Mm -hmm. yeah.